Okay, so I got the saw lift mechanism finished. I'm using number 40 chain that goes up and through the top beam to a 16 tooth gear, which is attached to a shaft to a 60 tooth gear. And then it keeps going over there to the left hand side. Down here at the bottom, you can see there, there's the idle pulley and here's the tab where I connected it. And then it goes up through here. And I used one of those mobility scooter motors. Now it's a 24 volt motor. Um, it just, I'm just running it on 12 volts and it just goes a little bit slower, which I actually don't mind. That's what it looks like from this side here. And the reason why I had to do a little tab is because the engine, it wants to pull down on the right hand side and I wanted to bring the center of gravity out a little bit towards the engine. Also, for the chain to be able to bypass the pulley here, um, I needed a little bit extra space. So, when I, uh, when I wanna use it, the issue with the 24 volt motor was that there's a solenoid a brake in here that's built in, and when you activate the solenoid, it loosens the brake, but that has to be 24 volt. So I bought one of those, uh, voltage regular or boosters i guess it goes 12 volt in and i can adjust the output up to i think 48 volt or something i got it set at 24 right now which is enough to uh, activate the solenoid so if i make contact here you can hear the click so i'm going to permanently deactivate the brake and I have a couple of uh, C-clamps there that are holding it up. And as soon as I make contact with the positive, it brings the power up to the motor. You'll see the, uh, that one going up. It's still a bit wobbly and I still hear some clicking. I've got to do some uh, adjustment. And because the brake is, there we go. So as soon as I take the brake off, it stops. But if I put it back on, it goes back down. So I'm going to have to figure out how I want to manage that. But so far, so good.